Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic Hey y'all, welcome to our crib. So this is week two of our big renovation process. We have extended this wall here. Before this wall was all kind of enclosed a little bit further to here and to here. So now we have this wide extra space there. And I think that's gonna really open up the room for, for people that are maybe at the sink here, washing dishes, they'll be able to see, you know, here when we finally run it out. Just to recap, we purchased this house. What we like to do is purchase homes, live in them for a little bit, and then put them on Airbnb. Currently, we have one property. We've been renovating our second home that we live in currently, and that's just about fully renovated, and we're gonna launch that one on Airbnb within the next two months. And then this one that we have here, we're going to move in again in two months It'll hopefully look a lot better than this. <laughs> and then uh, we'll finish renovating that little by little and then move out and move into our next home. This here, you can see me in the mirrors back there, which are definitely coming down. But this is the first room right when you walk in. We started demoing already. Um, we're going to get all of this. We have a dumpster coming, a 14 foot dumpster that's coming. And this is going to all be picked up this week along with this flooring, this carpet down here. And then this wall is hopefully going to look like that wall back there with the header up top. And then this will cut all the way across and scoot back a little bit so that you can have a nice view of the kitchen and of the back living room back there. So we're getting things done. It looks a very messy right now, but um, I would say this is some really great progress for the end of our second week. And then say hi, Mr. Sweet Face. Hey, what's up? <laughs> He's just setting up the Google Home system right now. We had internet put in earlier this week. But um, if y'all remember from our first video, this had a big kind of cabinet all across the top and it looked really closed in. We took that down and we're gonna add pendants above there. And then we're going to extend this um, countertop area. I believe it comes out 12 inches. We're gonna extend it out to 18 inches. So that'll give a little bit more countertop space for people to eat. And then I think that's gonna look really good. Uh, another plan for the kitchen is to take down these two cabinets right here, and then also to remove this microwave and either place it here or just somewhere on this side, and then center the stove top in the center, as well as adding a vena hood. So I think that's gonna look really, really good like really elegant, classy, I'm, I love it, I'm obsessed with it. Let's take you upstairs to the bathroom that we're making in the master bathroom. Okay, so upstairs, this is the master bedroom. I'm standing now in what is the master bathroom, which we've completely built out. We had to get permits for it for the city, and it's going to be about six feet long this way, and I'm not sure how long this is, but <laughs> it's six feet. And I'm gonna take you in here and show you what's been going on. So this is the shower right here. So it's gonna come out to about here, this red line down here. And then this is going to be a shower head. And then on this side, another shower head. And then this is the door. The tile is gonna go all the way up. So I think that's gonna look absolutely amazing. On this side, we have room for double sinks. So we're gonna put two sinks. I asked the plumber, because there's gonna be limited amount for storage, and I asked the plumber, do most people in homes when they remodel their master bathroom, do they want more storage or do they want double sinks? And he said, for sure, by far, they want double sinks. So we're gonna put some storage down here. We're making a custom vanity for this area, but it's not going to be a lot. So we'll just deal with that when we come to it. And then this is gonna be the water closet around here. And of course, there's gonna be a vent, lighting. We might be able to add some additional storage on this wall or this wall, but a lot has happened this week. 
framing, plumbing is almost completed. We are actually in the middle of getting our inspection done. That's what we're waiting for right now while we're filming. Um, because again, that has to be approved by the city and that's like all a process. So we have an initial, initial permit request uh, to actually begin the work. And then you have, I think two additional checkups I'm sorry, three, two additional checkups during the process, and then a third one, which is your final walkthrough. So super excited. Now we'll be able to say if we were to ever sell this home or list this home to be sold, now we can say that this is a full bathroom, but you can't do that unless you actually have the permits for it. So we're super excited about this. Okay, so you've seen the shower here. This is what the shower is. Here we are. We're gonna have a barn door that slides you know, up top across here just to save space because this side, if I turn you around here and pull you back, this is going to be the master bedroom area. The closets here in this room are a little wonky. Where the toilet sits is actually was one closet. And then this is a closet here, and this is also a closet. We're getting rid of this closet. It's a bump out of about, I would say two feet. So that goes straight across now so that we'll have more room to say put a dresser there or a seating area. King size bed goes long ways this way. I just wanted to have enough space for it to still be big and still put the bathroom in here. This was a really good compromise. Um, it's not going to be the biggest master, but it is the biggest room in the home. And now there will be a dedicated bathroom in addition to the hallway bath that's out here. That way, no one has to share a bathroom. Coming out of the master, this still looks very Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We have not done a lot to the um, other areas of the home, but now that we have dumpster truck coming today, that's coming today at four, which today's Friday, we can get all this stuff removed, all the carpet removed. Hopefully it's gonna start looking really, really good in here. And then this is still the hallway bath. Uh, we're gonna probably be moved in already by the time that we finish any of these, the rest of the bathrooms. This is gonna be the second full bath. And then there's a full bath downstairs, but it has like a maybe a 36 by 36 shower in it it's not even as big as this one right here and we're just going to end up turning it into a powder so it's going to be switching a home from three bedroom two bath to three bedroom two and a half bath but again we decided to do that because of the functionality of the bathroom and the master that was just so important to us so let's take you downstairs now and we will kind of recap what's been going on this week okay and then i have a pool update we got the pool cleaned, so the pool guy came to clean the pool. It is, there's still a lot of residue at the bottom. It looked spick and span when he came, and the next day we saw all this kind of like sediment go towards the bottom. He told us that our pool pump is leaking, so we actually need to have that fixed and serviced, and someone's coming out to service that on Tuesday. So we're still very new to the pool game, so we're doing whatever is recommended by the pool company, and uh, hopefully that'll get all fixed and we'll be able to have a cleaner pool and it filter out a little bit better. The other option that he said was to actually get, he has like a little pool vacuum that comes along the, the bottom of the floor and vacuums the pool to keep it clean. He said that we could also do that as well and purchase one, but I think they're expensive equipment. So that might be worth investing in if we are going to be airbnb it out and eventually we will. So we might not get something like that immediately Immediately, but we might chalk it up to a business cost and get that um, in the future sometime. So the pool pump definitely needs to be repaired. It just has a leak in it. It's not anything major like actually replacing the full pool pump. So that's good. The other thing that I think that we didn't consider was all the electrical work, like moving of the outlets, basically moving the outlets, creating um, kind of like outlets for pendants or like, you know, boxes to have Say for instance, the kitchen pendants, we're putting two of those in because they had a cabinet up there and now that we've removed it, we want to put pendant lights there. All the electrical work, uh, since we're building the bathroom, we had to move some outlets there and then put in additional outlets. I'm sorry, again, additional places to put lighting. Those are just automatically some of the you know, kind of until we got to where we figured out the configuration of the home. Those were some of the additional costs that we had. I'll overlay a video here of the home, 
almost fully demoed. We have the dump truck coming today, like I said earlier, and this is Friday, so I'll probably put in that video. The house should be fully demoed by the end of this week, so that's another thing that'll get crossed off our list. And then uh, we also had the house treated for termites during our inspection. We had a small site of active termites, so we had the home treated this past week for termites as well, all around the house creating what looked like a you know a barrier so that it penetrated into the ground and we should no longer have that problem and that's guaranteed for I think up to like six years so that's a good thing too and then we also had cameras installed this week so we are going with the Google Home system Google Home per bought out nest which we have at all our other homes and we wanted to continue with the same system so we're using Google Home for this system and we have Google Fiber here which is really fast internet we're super jazzed about it we don't have it at our other two locations available yet we're here in san antonio texas so it just depends on the area and your zip code as to whether or not you'll have it or not we're really excited that we get to have it at this house so okay y'all so that wraps up our first official week actually this is officially going into the second week last week it was the home tour the full home tour just bare bones when we first moved in if you haven't seen that i'll link it here for y'all and then um make sure that you follow me on instagram i update daily in terms of showing you the house showing you the process i do a recap of here on youtube weekly but i definitely update there daily so check me out there i'll link it somewhere here and then thank y'all so much for being here with me i appreciate you sharing a little bit of your day with me i love y'all i will see y'all next time bye